So I recently had this idea. I started wondering how many different robots can I make in LEGO? And I narrowed it down to 10. Seems like a reasonable number, right? So let's not waste any time. Here are the 10 robots I made. So I started with something that we all use, whether we're on vacation or just out and about. It can give you sodas. It can give you chips. It is, you guessed it, Yoda. A vending machine. But this is not any ordinary vending machine. No, no, no. It has a claw hand, and all you have to do is punch in the numbers of what you want, and the claw will grab it for you. Next, we have a project that is a bit out of this world. If you catch my drift. We use them to scope out other planets to find out about aliens. I mean, uh, inhabitable places for, uh, other humans. You guessed it, it's the Planet Rovers. And of course, I've got a camera on the front to capture all the alien- Ahem, <clears throat> the, the atmosphere's quality. As well as some other things that I'm not quite sure what they are. <clears throat> and that makes a planet rope. Next, we have something that's actually not surprising anymore. You've seen them in Walmart, and you've seen them in Holmes. Who knows, you could even have one. I'm talking about robot vacuums. You turn the things on, and they are cleaning away. Next, we have a robot that is used mostly in a factory. They do a lot of repetitive work. You guessed it. Articulated hands. Or how I know them, robot hands. This next one, almost everyone has in their house. I'm gonna count it since it's kind of robotic. I'd be talking about Alexa. You know, the thing that's always listening to us when we're not expecting it. So I built the Alexa speaker with the built-in LED lights. So when you call her, it'll light up. So this next one is super common, but it does think for itself like a robot. So we have to count it. Just like it counts our money when it gives it to us. Talking about an ATM machine. It is impressive when you think about it that humans made a machine that can count back money accurately. This next build you hear a lot about in sci-fi films. Technically a human with metal skin. Talking about droids. And all you have to do is get a fancy pair of legs and a torso, then attach a head similar to this on top of it. I kind of feel like he needs a gun too. Oh yeah, that's better. This next product also works kind of like a robot. Talking about a smart washer. You hit one button and the machine takes care of the rest. Pretty smart if you ask me. Next we have more of a futuristic robot. Kind of a military or army thing. Talking about a combat robot. I mean this thing's loaded with weapons. It's got a jet pack. It's got a huge screen on the front of its head to serve as a face. Which would light up with LEDs. When you turn it on of course. And lastly is something that we kind of already have now. Imagine a vehicle where you punch in your destination and it takes you to that place without any help. You guessed it, a robo car. Basically a car that just thinks and drives on its own. It would be nice with like long trips on the highway just to tell your car where to go and you just sit back and sleep. It is a lot to think on, which brings the question, what do you guys think about robots now? Are we getting lazy? Are robots getting too advanced? Let me know down in the comments. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Till then, see you later.